Moving on to item B, school reopening update, Dr. Brenner. Thank you, Madam President, uh, members of the board. Uh, first of all, I just want to acknowledge uh, uh, out of the gate tonight that we do have some representation from uh, public health. Uh, Sean McBride is here, our epidemiologist, Teresa Knox, uh, nursing and nutrition supervisor, and also Ashley Nelson, who is in charge of contact tracing. So we want to thank them for their partnership. And they're probably thinking, what kind of partnership is this? You, you guys have to come to our meetings all the time, and we don't, we don't attend any of yours. So I uh, want to thank you very much uh, for being here. And they might be helpful in our conversation as we talk about our school restart uh, and also about athletics. Uh, first of all, with our school reopening, opening update. Uh, the surveys, the second round of surveys that parents are completing closes tonight at 11.59 p.m. And to date, just looking at the raw data, uh, about 18%, one eight, 18% of pre-K through 12 parents want to keep their students home. We'll do more analysis tomorrow after the survey closes. Additionally, staff surveys closed on Sunday night. We have a small number of teachers and support staff with a medical certificate to work remotely, and we will be calling upon others to assume the role of distance learning teachers. Um, and there seems to be some, uh, a number of people who want to step forward and, and serve in that role, teaching remotely, that is. Uh, so we're going to use the next few days for data analysis to find out where the gaps and overlaps are with the number of students involved in distance learning and the number of teachers and support staff available to teach uh, grade level at the elementary level and or content level at the middle and high school levels. Further, uh, we're exploring adding possibly more support staff at the school level to manage a quarantine room, if you want to call it that, uh, for students who come down to the office who are displaying some symptoms. Uh, these positions would be at the paraprofessional level and coded under COVID, um, and they would also assist us with contact tracing. More details still need to be worked out, but just wanted to offer that as um, some new information as we prepare for students to come back on August 31st. Uh, 